Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Wish pop. What's going on in the life of Pisces between the 1st and the 15th of December? Hmm. Hmm. I know I look a little dark, but this is about the damn best as the lighting could do. If I would have let the sun shine in, I would have been too illuminous. And you wouldn't have been able to see me at all, all this damn light I'm carrying. What's going on life with Pisces family? I missed y'all. What's going on? To my returning subscribers, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We a little dysfunctional up in here. We may even cry. We don't fight. We, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We uplift, y'all. We are a family. We are a soul unit. Everything that I'm going, everything you're going through, Mocha is possibly going through, going through as well. We all are having hurdles and traumas, but it's how we choose to look at it. My babies, y'all are going through changes and positive ones. And I love every freaking minute of it. You better know this, okay? You guys... The journey, I'm grateful. This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the uh, cross watchers for the sign of Pisces between the 1st and the 15th of December. I know I'm tardy. I was also supposed to have your video done live. However, I'm having technical difficulties and I didn't have time to wait no more. I had to get y'all messages out to y'all. Plus, I didn't want everybody to put a damn APB out on my ass at the same time. So that said, here I am. <laughs> here I go. What's going on, baby? What's going on? All right, so this is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal message, a personal message, personal reading, please look in the description below and that information can be found, okay? Um, I don't think I have any more announcements, so we finna get to it. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does not, feel free to check your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus signs. Um, and if you don't like cussing, y'all, I do cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who does not cuss, all right? Because this is my shit and I'm a cuss. Rocking, rocking. Let's roll. All right. So first we will be giving um first we're gonna be talking about your spiritual messages. And everybody like Mocha, what's the difference between spiritual messages? The spiritual messages deals with your inside part. It's internal. I'm talking about your soul, growing on a soul level. Love is just that. And in the love sector, anything may come up. Finances, love, career. So I just actually express what I see um as well as you know in the love sector, but spiritually. I'm going to talk about your inside parts. Who ready to talk about you? That movie scared the shit out of me. Who this scene beloved? It's the part where she go, B, E, <laughs> L. I that dog. Look here. Turn it off. Turn it off. Fix it, Jesus. I don't want it. Look. So, you know, with that, <laughs> your inside parts. All right? So, I see during this time, Pisces, my babies, a lot of you all are looking at yourself. You're seeing yourself in a different light. A lot of y'all are looking at yourselves and you're looking at it like, damn, I'm worthy. I'm a bad bitch. I am that, I'm that guy. Okay. I'm look, I'm the girl that y'all, I'm the girl that all the boys, I'm the girl to bring all the boys to the yard. I'm beautiful both inside and out. Some of you all are really seeing situations, seeing yourself flaws and all, and you loving every bit of it. There, you're going through a rebirth during this time. Your intuition is booming. Third eye, wide open. And a lot of you all are really seeing situations, circumstances for what they are. A lot of you all are really just focusing on yourself during this time, focusing on your security, your abundance. And to be honest with you, you hold the key to that through perception, how you look at it. What have you taken from this journey? What have you taken, at, what have you taken from the things that you've learned and how can you grow from it? A lot of you all are really, really, really starting to see an abundant energy around you during this time, okay? For some of you all, it's literally abundance, but it's how you choose to look at abundance. Do you look at abundance from a form of wealth? Do you look at it from a form of good health? Do you look at it from how do you how it's how you choose to see abundance? What are you grateful for? Because there is this sense of gratitude is the attitude, and it will rain. It will rain major blessings and. On, onto your life okay i am seeing currently some of you all could also be during this time going over the past but some of you all you're going over the past and you're walking away grateful you're walking away knowing that you know i am victorious i i was able to take this particular lesson i learned how to love myself i learned that i am worthy of every true everything that i that my heart desires and 
I'm going to be open and receiving for spirit to bestow it upon to me. Some of you all during this time are in this in this energy of remorse. Well, maybe I could have done that better. Well, maybe I should have done this. You know, well, maybe things could have been this way. For some of you all, you're still carrying hurt and burdens, okay, from your childhood. Spirit is wanting for you to let that go and just really see how far you've come. See how focus on the victory. Focus on every focus on every every situation and circumstance that you hurdled over. Focus on your wins. And if you're going to focus on the L's, okay, if you're going to focus on the L's, focus on turning your L's into lessons. And turning your L's, the, the L's that you turn into lessons, focus on how we can shift them to see the blessing within them. That is the focus for Pisces during this time. But some of you all, you've really been planting seeds. You've been working on yourself. Some of you all, you've been able to acknowledge, you know, okay, well, maybe I live in this place of lack. So let me work on that. Okay, I'm noticing about myself as I see myself. I'm beautiful. Yes, I have flaws. So during this time, I'm going to work on myself, both internally and externally. And I know, and I'm walking with this, knowing that if I shift my perspective, okay, and see things for the positives, I can get out of this energy and move forward because the past no longer serves me. It already happened. And so what occurred, we can't go back to that place, but we can fix it going forward if it does involve individuals in the external. But once you actually heal this within the internal, okay, can you see that beauty projected on the external in a whole new way? Shine your light, Pisces, and don't let nobody dim your, don't let nobody dim your light. You you are too beautiful inside and out. Y'all are the healers of the zodiac. So there is no reason for you to feel like this because someone could not see your substance. You don't need nobody to accept you. Accept yourself. Accept the fact that I am beautiful. I am loyal. I am loving. I am kind. I am nurturing. I am abundant. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am faith. I am wisdom. I am joy. I am light. I am prosperity. I am. So be it. It ain't what they call you or what the fuck they said. It's what you said hmm, to. It's what you answered to. So if motherfuckers ain't putting the right type of respect on it, it's time for you to respect yourself and put that work and that value and that substance within yourself because you deserve every piece of it. And Spirit say, Pisces, you can have whatever you like because you did the work. A lot of y'all during this time are really needing to express your truths. You have this all knowing. Some of y'all already know people finna come out the woodworks talking shit. This is why spirit is pushing you to purge this energy. Okay? So when a motherfucker come and talking shit and they hollering, oh, bitch, this, oh, no, 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 no. It's Miss Bitch to you. You you, you put some respect on my bitch. If you're going to call me one anyway, make sure you put paid or missus at the front of that motherfucker. Put some respect on it. Because like I said, it ain't what people call you. It's what you answer to. And if you're going to give me that shoe, I'm going to make sure that motherfucker fit. <laughs> okay? It's okay to defend yourself. Because Pisces, y'all have taken a lot from people. To the point with even my Pisces friends, I'd be like, who, girl, tag me in. Let me tell them. Girl, you want to tell them? Let me tell them. Because sometimes you don't have to be completely ugly. To get your point across. Sometimes it's the truth. And the value in what it is that you're presenting. And what you say. And the fact that you're not afraid to live in your truth. Good or bad. But you don't let nobody make you feel bad. Especially when you have this all knowing. You are the high priestess. And you are hella protected. Some of y'all are going to be encountering white birds during this time. And that spirit's way of saying I got you baby. Say that shit. This queen of air, speak that shit. Because it resides in your heart for a reason. Ain't you tired? Well, tell them. I'm motherfucking tired. I'm not taking this anymore. You will no longer make me feel. Some of y'all have somebody in your energy. 
You will no longer make me feel like this because spirit says I am abundant. That's my promise and I believe them. You understand? Some of you all have been carrying that vibration since I'm hearing 16. I heard 14, 17. Thank you, spirit. 18, 22. Some of you all have been carrying that vibration for quite some time that it's become a way of life. And so you believe that about yourself. And spirit says, no more. I didn't wake you up to be mediocre. I woke you up to be the bestest. So go do that shit, Pisces. Lead the way. Let's get it. Talk about this love. Okay. Pisces, a lot of y'all got this new love coming. Y'all got new love coming, but there still needs to be, somebody needs to make a judgment call. I feel that some of you all could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it's definitely new love. I just feel that there, during this time, a lot of you all are going to, to be needing to make a judgment. Okay. And it has to do with the equal level of give and take, okay? But some of you all, you really want to move forward in a new partnership, but you're making a judgment on it because maybe this person, either you or this person has a lack mindset, or maybe there's, maybe you feel like um, you're giving more to the situation, whether it's energetically or money-wise, and you're really needing to say that shit, Pisces. Say that shit because I feel like you're putting in the effort, you're putting in the work. Meanwhile, someone else in your energy, or this could be you, is looking like this. So you just like, look, look, baby, I'm trying to grow. I see you as the queen or the king of wands. I see you very passionately. There is love here, definitely. Definitely. But either you, either there's not an equal give and take. Or there's a need to make a judgment call about you or this other person possibly still giving to another situation as well. Okay? Some of you all, this could be a Virgo. Some of y'all could be making a judgment call when dealing with the Virgo during this time. But some of you all, it's about making that judgment on if I want to just be in a relationship or if I want to be in this place of solitude and work on myself and work on my stability. But some of you all, you're very, very, very mentally conflicted when it comes to starting something new or moving towards a new opportunity or a new relationship. And it could have to do with finances. For some of you all, some of y'all are having to make this judgment call to release yourself from a soulmate relationship during this time due to the fact that you're very indecisive and for Pisces to be as intuitive as you are, there should no be there should be no fucking room for indecision. I say that to say this. When you're in tune with the self, the self knows what it feels. It's very in tune with what it feels. So when you can distinguish yourself, a lot of y'all need to distinguish, work on distinguishing your energy from other people from other people in your in your circle. Pretty much extinguish, distinguish, I say extinguish, distinguish your energy from the people that are within you, you know, your external, the people who are around you. Because I feel that some of you all, you have this new beginning. You on the brink of a new beginning in love as well. Whoa. As well as finances. Some of you all may be starting new jobs during this time. If you've been waiting to hear back from employment, here they come between this 1st and 15th of December. I'm going to need you guys to definitely stay positive about your situations and definitely speak your, uh, speak your blessings into fruition. Okay? Positive mindset only. But some of you all, all these damn aces, Pisces. Yes. Some of you all really want to start something new, possibly with the fire sign. And this will possibly be some sort, some sort of reconciliation. Some of you all are wanting to move forward in a reconciliation, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or with another water sign. But I feel like someone is defensive. Pisces wants to move forward, I feel. This is your energy wants to move forward, but you have someone else in your energy. This could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's very indecisive. This person, some of y'all could be wanting to start new, but what's preventing the situation from moving forward is someone moving away from someone in their past, okay? This could even be you or this other person, Pisces, but some of you all could also be trying to manifest the actual physical move some of y'all are moving during this time for those of you who've been waiting on some type of a residential news there's news about a place or apartment or town home i'm hearing duplex as well uh for those of you who've been waiting to hear about a house some of y'all y'all praying way down here some y'all been praying for just a place to stay and spirits say not only am i going to give you a place to stay you looking for an apartment and i'm going to bless you with the home I'm going to bless you with a soulmate who has their own house, their own living. 
their own space so that you can come in and build because that's what they were missing. If only you just trust me. Some of you all, some of you all actually may be divorcing someone during this time. Some of you all could possibly be dealing with the justice system. And I feel like it has to do possibly with the water sign or another fire sign. Some of y'all are done accepting half-assed love when it comes to dealing with the Libra. Some of y'all are just mostly focused on your stability during this time. Building, nurturing, restructure, recreation, the come up, okay? And some of y'all are internally conflicted about a family situation. I feel that this could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, uh, Leo Sag. This person, okay, could be conflicted about what they want to do when it comes to moving forward or what they want to do when it comes to dealing with a family situation or some type of family structure or dynamic. For some of you all, you really want to move forward and you want to, and, and you see all of these beautiful beginnings, these beautiful beginnings happening, but you have somebody in your energy who feels stuck or trapped okay someone is feeling stuck this could be an aries okay or a sag but spirit is wanting you to know pisces you have everything that you need to move forward either with this person or without this person pisces will be good okay so it's not about, well, I want them to get their shit together, but they won't. And, you know, understandable, you know, but time, you can't get that back. So please, 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 time in your peace. Invest them very wisely when dealing with people, okay? Time and peace is very expensive in my world because those are the one, those are the two things that I can't get back. So you best know that I'm going to handle them with care and responsibly, okay? Why is this uh, magician card here for Pisces? Yeah, for some of you all, you want to reconcile with an Aries person, okay? Or you could be reconciling with an Aries person, and you're kind of you're kind of indecisive on if this will go somewhere. It's showing me that it will, but it's the doubt mindset. The doubt and the fears must be purged before this can move. For some of you, some of y'all have a Sagittarius trying to hold on to you, or this could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you all during this time, you feel stuck. Or someone feels stuck and maybe they're holding on to everything that they have because they just have this fear of failing or this fear of, it's like this fear of losing something, okay? Someone has possibly gone through some things where they've lost a lot of things or maybe this form, they've, they've experienced, you or another person have experienced a form of, um, of, 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 of feeling. A form of lack, okay, or poverty, and you just like, no, I'm not going backwards. Some of you all, um, either you or the person in your energy, there's a, a, a huge focus on stability, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you want to hold on to the relationship or this person is trying to hold on to you due to some type of like tie financially. I feel like this person feels stuck, but they feel that if they separate from you, then there's this case that they could lose something financially. So it's this feeling of like both of you in, in each other's space, but you feel like, oh, the fuck away from me. Oh, you don't got no friends. Go somewhere. It's just, <laughs> it's, I literally hear you don't got no, I heard that. You ain't got no friends. <laughs> Pisces, did you ask somebody that ain't got no friends? Y'all play too much. I cannot. Mm -mm, I'm tired. Spirit, why is this Ace of Cups here? Yeah. Some of you guys have a new beginning, okay? In this situation, it will include some type of solid commitment. could also include marriage in the future if you just go with it. But some of you all, you have an ace of cups waiting for you, but you won't separate yourself from someone who you're possibly married to, okay? I feel that some of y'all feel trapped in the marriage even though you know that you have this ace of cups. But some of you, it's this marriage that's preventing this damn Ace of Cups. Some of y'all could actually have a new lover that's a Libra as well. And I feel like you want to move forward with this person, have something stable and secure. However, for some of y'all, this person is still doing work on themselves. But some of you all, you really want to move forward towards another job. Spirit is saying, go right ahead, baby. You got the, oh, these damn nails. Go right ahead, baby. You got the okay. That move is blessed. Okay, you felt it for a reason. Fear, why is the Queen of Chalices here? The Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Yeah. Some of you all are in love with a with a Capricorn, okay? But some of you all you feel stuck when it comes to love as if either you or this other person, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like there's something toxic around this love. There is love here, but there's some type of codependency in the love. Like someone needs the other person. They feel like I can't lose the other person. And that codependency is what's keeping the relationship from moving forward as well. Or someone having that fear of 
failing or losing or not being enough. But some of you all, Pisces, some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel that you're offering your cup of love to this person, but I feel like this person is more so focused on work and getting ahead. But some of you all, you could you could be really tired of offering your uh, offering your cup of love to this person. I feel like, you know, it's more so that feeling of I'm giving, I'm giving, 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 I'm giving my love. And the only thing you can see is what we don't have financially. Okay. And I feel like for some of you all, it's becoming a burden. Some of you all, yeah, the reason why there's not the equal give and take has to do, could also have to do with the mother of someone's children, um, the mother of father, maybe someone's giving to um, like a child's mother or an outside situation and they're not giving enough financially to the relationship. But some of you all, this person could be giving their attention again with this equal give and take. They could just be focused on their finances. You could be dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo as well. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here, Spirit? What is this Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? Yeah, some of y'all are indecisive on which way to go. Some of you all don't know if you want to choose love or money, to be honest with you. Some of you all are very indecisive or you're dealing with someone who is indecisive due to finances. Like this person loves you. The love and the passion is there. This person is loyal. They got your back, but at the same time, they worry about if something fell down or if something went without or, you know, something of that nature. They worry about those things. Or you do, Pisces. But I feel this is more external to Pisces. Yeah. Some of y'all cutting off a damn Virgo. And I feel like it has to do with the fact, and some of y'all just may be cutting off the air sign as well. Some of y'all cutting off Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like for some of you all, you're really needing this period of being in solitude to really focus on your stability, focus on what fulfills you, focus on what it is that I need, okay? What it is that I want. But some of y'all, it's been this fear of being by yourself, but you've been in so many toxic relationships that damn, baby, who gonna love you? Ain't, no, can't nobody do it better than you can. Some of y'all have a fire sign and decisive. OK, about the union or you could be indecisive about this damn Leo. Some of y'all are a little indecisive about a Leo. What is the judgment card here for my Pisces for? Yeah, yeah. damn, I got judgment, <laughs> clarifying judgment. All right. For some of you all, you could be making a judgment about resurrecting a family situation. OK, for some of you all, it's just about manifestation. Some of you guys, your wish, you, some of y'all been trying to manifest the mother or the father of your children. Some of y'all have been trying to manifest moving forward with an Aries. And I do see there being movement. I see that there is going to be a new beginning of love. Some of y'all could also be watching this person. Some of y'all have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person wants to move forward with you, but they're not talking. They, they don't want to talk. They just want to stalk. Okay. I feel that this person is a lot of ego and pride around this person. This person could also be indecisive, or maybe you're indecisive about two people, Pisces, someone from your past and someone that you recently just met. But some of you all, some of y'all going to reconcile with a water sign or Aries person. And I feel like you've been in your head about their reconciliation, but the spirit says it's going to be successful as long as someone stops being indecisive and the other one stops being so damn, in turn, like, some, so damn defensive, I feel as well as internally paranoid, okay? Yeah, some of y'all don't know whether to choose, okay, between the family situation, especially if you have a family with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And for some of you all, there's defensiveness in a relationship due to someone, yeah, could be someone just focusing on money or someone who could have left somebody out in the cold. You could have had an earth sign that left you out in the cold. Possibly they were being defensive towards you, wanting to come in and out when they felt like it. For some of you, this could be a Taurus, okay? Some of you could be married to this person, and maybe they don't want to give you a divorce. Some of y'all have someone in your energy that's, a nar that's narcissistic as fuck. Some of y'all are married to someone. This could be a Leo. This could be a Taurus. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a Gemini. Some of y'all are married to someone, and for some of y'all, it's a Sag. Some of y'all been dealing with someone or married to someone for some time and they just don't want to let you go. They don't want you. It's just out of spite and it's awesome. If I can't have you, nobody else can. <laughs> I will make their ass a believer during this time, Pisces. I ain't got to tell y'all how to do that. Take it how it resonates and do what you need to do. Spirit, why is this justice card here? That came out so clear. Yep. 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 Didn't I just tell y'all this? Damn, I'm good. Why even? I told y'all to put these cards down in 2019 eventually. Some of you guys have a new beginning on the brink. 
And because this person, okay, I don't I don't want you because I live in the past and I'm unhappy with the union because I'm unhappy within myself, but I'd be damned if you leave me. I'd be damned if you leave me and go be happy. The nerve of you to be happy. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be miserable forever, says the narcissistic motherfucker you kept you putting your Nikes on and running from. Okay. Some of y'all have a Libra in your energy. This person is eternally conflicted. This person wants to live in the past. But some of y'all, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they want to move forward. But for some of y'all, this person communicates childishly. I feel that this person has a victim mentality. I'm the victim. Oh, no, it's not my fault. It's your fault. Because if you wouldn't have did that, then I wouldn't have did this. So technically, all this is... No, what the fuck? What? How do you learn or grow from that? Okay? Some of you all have a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is... They want to come forward and offer their love... Because they see you financially stable during this time. And they feel like they're missing out on something. For some of you all, it's a twin flame. For some of you all, it's a Gemini. But I feel like this person wants to extend their love. Because they see you as this queen of pentacles. They see you moving towards happiness, fulfillment. With a soulmate. They see it can last. <laughs> and for some of them, I feel like it's the time. You get what I'm saying? They're, they, it, the time and the comfort. For some of you all... Yeah, some of you all have a, I'm sorry, some of you all have a soulmate who could also be another Pisces, a Libra, Aries, a Taurus, a Virgo, but I feel like this is definitely someone who you can create with. But some of you, you're going to be finding out that your soulmate is pregnant, okay, during this time. Congratulations, because Mocha love them kids. Yeah, some of y'all is definitely cutting off a damn Virgo. Some of y'all not playing with the sign of Virgo. I feel that you you said you need to set clear boundaries with this person, especially. Uh, 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 I'm not, uh, hold on, especially involving situations around money and family. Some of y'all have a child with the Virgo person, and I feel that either this person or you, Pisces, is focused on money, 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 and someone's actually focused on building stability around the family in a nurturing way and there's becoming a conflict because i feel like you ain't got time for us you so busy trying to become this queen of pentacles it could also be a king that you're not even noticing that you're not giving to the family unit as you should we can't die with material things but we can definitely die with the with the value of the love that we shared here Amongst our family and our friends and our efforts towards building that and increase and expanding on that because love is the highest vibration of all. But some of you all, this ten of cups, some of you all feel stuck in a situation. Okay? When it comes to dealing with your ace of cups, you feel stuck. You feel like you're trapped in a situation. Even though it's how you choose to look at it because spirit is saying you may now move forward. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius and you want to move forward with the with the cancer or vice versa because one of these people or you could be dealing with the cancer. Some of you have two soulmates to choose from. Again, I told you somebody who you got a family with or some history with and someone who's just coming in. And you need him to choose wisely, Pisces, because it's time for you to drop the burden. Spirit, what is the general outcome for my Pisces? Yeah. The outcome for the first and 15, some of y'all is going to be juggling. Some of y'all are going to juggle two soulmates, okay? And I feel like get to know them. It doesn't mean you have to sleep with them. Some of y'all are going to juggle an air sign, gem not an air sign. I mean, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? Or this could be someone external to you juggling you, Pisces, this water, and an earth sign. Because both of you all, one could be a twin flame and one could be a soulmate, Okay? So definitely watch out for this seven of swords behavior during this time. Okay, either you or someone in your energy. Okay, because for some of y'all, y'all ending a cycle with the karmic soulmate who carries this energy. I'm sneaky. I'm I, the, the the sneak, the liar, the snake. Okay, the unloyal motherfucker. It's time to end that cycle. Some of y'all could be ending cycles with someone who carries this vibration who could be. Of the sign of Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. And intuitively, you already know it's time to go. You need to trust your intuition during this time, Pisces, for it will not lead you wrong. A lot of you all, 
Some of y'all got to stop drinking so damn much. And for those of you who was questioning, oh, well, I want to be happy. Should I leave? Should I leave? Are you happy? What do you want? Do you feel stuck? Are you fearful of leaving? Because God is not the author of confusion. So maybe it's time for you to reconnect with your spirit guides and your angels on the confidence that you need to move away from all of that turbulence to this energy, to the energy of the Ace of Cups. What my other one at? To the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. To the energy of the Queen of Wands. For the energy of the... Damn, I got all four queens on the board. I just realized that. In both suits. To the energy. Where we go? Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to get to it. Because see, it's this judgment call that gets us here. Okay? To the energy of that. To the energy of this Ace of Pentacles. This new opportunity. Believe in miracles. Manifest and speak it into your life. So be it. The energy of this damn. Hold on. What's that? Damn. The energy of this damn Ace of Wands. Do you see that? I don't know if y'all know this. Y'all had the Ace of Cups. That was the first card. I believe this was the fourth. I had the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Rods as well. The Ace of Swords come from you. It's time to make that move. What you gonna do, Pisces? Because the only thing in your hat in your future is abundance, love, fulfillment, and happiness. But you gotta first be willing to sacrifice some bullshit. Some of y'all dealing with a real familiar lesson. And the answer is to be not be afraid to let it go and know that you will sustain beyond that situation, circumstance, person, etc. God got you. Never left. How you choose to look at it. If you only see the positive in situations, then that's what you will attract. But you got to be willing to see that, my baby. You know? So y'all comment. Let me know what's tea. This is what I got for Pisces between the 1st and the 15th of December. Y'all let me know how it resonates. I love y'all with my whole heart. Much love, much light, much healing to y'all. Many blessings. Many, 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 many doors that I'm praying that are open and sent your way during this time. I love y'all, baby. Congratulations on them kids. Mocha love the kids. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Namaste.